Right, we're on to the second session with thirds. We're going to be adding and subtracting. Adding and subtracting thirds, I kind of see that very, very similar to adding and subtracting fractions. If you think about uh, adding fractions, what we have to do is if I've got uh, a third plus another third, if I add them together, I would be able to get two thirds. And the only way that I can add them together is if the denominators on the bottom are the same. If, on the other hand, I add a half plus a third, um, they're not in a good form to, to try to add together. What I would have to do is to change each of them to have a denominator that is the same. And normally how I would do that, would I would multi what I would do would be multiplying the half by 3. So that would give me 3 over 6, and then multiply the third by 2, the denominator on the other side, and that would give me 2 over 6. Now what I've got is I've got the two denominators the same. I can then go ahead and add or subtract them, whatever I've been asked to do. Okay, so that would be 5 over 6. So that's the way I see it. I see it very similar to um, the fractions. What we've got to make sure is that in fractions the denominators are the same. When we add thirds, the way that we're working with thirds is to make sure that the number inside the third form here, inside the root, is the same. So when we get something like that, we can just add or subtract them as we go along. So quite simply for the first question here, I've got 5 root 2 plus 3 root 2. The way that I consider it is I've got 5 of them plus 3 of them, so that gives me 8 of them. And the things that I'm dealing with is root 2s. Okay, So that's going to just give me a straight 8 root 2. Looking at B, hopefully you can try these just by freezing the video and going ahead yourself. Right, I've got 3 root 7 minus root 7. Okay, So remember when you just see a root 7 that's there, it's like there's a 1 in front, so it's like a 1 root 7. So 3 root 7 take away root 7 should just give me 2 root 7. Because I've got 3 of them, I'm going to take 1 of them away, which gives me 2 of them left, which is just 2 root 7. Okay, normally what you'll see is you'll see maybe a string of things that you've got to add together. In this case, I can see that all the, the roots are all the same. It's all root threes. So I don't need to do anything with that apart from just gather them up together. Okay, so if I gather them up, and I'll do the first bit uh, first. So I've got four root three plus two root three. So that would give me six root three. I've still got to take away three root three from that. So 6 root 3 take away 3 root 3 will leave me with 3 root 3. Okay, so that's kind of adding and subtracting thirds. So remember the really key thing, the important thing is that the thirds have to be the same to be able to add them. Okay, so let's look at the next part of this type of work here. So, so what we're doing is we're going to be trying to add root 12 and root 27. The thirds there are not the same, so I cannot add them directly straight away. If you see a question like that, what you'd be looking to do is to simplify the thirds down, simplifying them, and then hopefully what we get is the third number is the same, and we can then add or subtract. Right, so I think back to, to what I was doing when I was simplifying thirds. What I'm going to do is I'm going to first try and simplify down root 12, okay? So remember what we have to consider. We have to consider square numbers that multiply together to get 12, a square number, and another number. So what I can see there is I can see root 4 and root 3 multiplying together to get them, okay? And I know what I've got from there is if I look at that part only, what I've got is 2 root 3. From that 2 root 3, I would expect that with the root 3 that's there, that I would be able to break 27 down into a root 3 times something else. And that's something else I'm hoping is going to be a square number. So from there, that's a clue that I'm going to use to work out this one here. Right, so what I can see is root 9 times root 3, which would give me 
3 root 3 it's just the square root of 9 is 3 and then what I have is a, an addition sum similar to what I was doing just up above so it's just a straight addition because I've got 2 of them plus 3 of them so that gives me 5 root 3 ok try the other two if you can just freeze the video and try them I'm going to do them in 2 seconds ok so root 36 um, very common number and so is root 8 the two of them are very common numbers that would be used in national 5 what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a square number I'm going to root, use root 16 and root 2 2 times 16 gives me the 32 I'm going to subtract I'm going to look at 4 and 2 because 4 times 2 gives me 8 okay. I think if I was working it through the clue would be the root 2 that would come out of both so what I have here is I've got 4 root 2 minus 2 root 2 Final answer, 4, take away 2 of them, so what I've got is, I've got 2 root 2. Root 72 is that, and root 50. Right, okay, so let's have a look at this one. So I think one thing that I can see is, I can see the, the 50 can help me out a bit. So I'm going to do that bit first, just to, just to check that out. It's really because I know what that's going to come out to be. So I know that root 25 and root 2 multiplied together give me root 50. So I'm going to try and think about a 2 in this number here. So if I half that, that gives me 36. And if I think about my square numbers, 36 is a square number. So I'm going to use that. So I've got root 36, and that's going to be a root 2. 36 times 2 gives me 72 that should work out for me. So that's going to be 6 root 2 minus 5 root 2 and what that leaves is just one of them, 1 root 2 and usually we don't write the 1 in the front so that's just going to be root 2. So that there is uh, adding and subtracting sorts. Okay, so hopefully that's uh, helped you UK in maths so that's it and good luck.